More enforcement and a change in attitude. That's what a Big Island woman is demanding after her father was killed in a dog attack nearly two months ago. Other community members say dogs on the loose are an ongoing problem. Bryce Moore reports. Shannon Matson tells me her dad, Robert Northrup, was always an animal lover, like many others in Hawaii County. Then there's also this group of folks that, you know, don't seem to regard the safety and well-being of their animals as as important. In August, Big Island police say witnesses saw Northrop being attacked by four large dogs in the roadway. That's what's so devastating about my father's death is that it was it was preventable. It was avoidable. Police say the dogs involved in that incident were euthanized, but for Paula Buck of Big Island Farm Sanctuary, harassment from canines is an ongoing threat. Buck says seven of her animals have been killed since last November. Five more are wounded, mostly at night. So they're coming over when I'm asleep, and by the time we hear it happening and get out there, the sheep are already being attacked. The dogs already know we're on our way, so they're running back up the hill to home, and the damage has been done. Hawaii County Animal Control's administrator says if a dog is on its owner's property... They don't necessarily have to be chained up. If they leave the property, the owner is required to have that animal on a leash. Northrop's daughter wants stronger enforcement of that law and a change in heart from the community. While nothing's going to bring our father back, knowing that we've made some serious efforts as a community to make sure that this never happens to anyone else again, will give us some peace. Animal control, previously ran by the Humane Society and then Hawaii Police, became an official county agency on July 1st. Rummel started his role as admin on September 1st. We asked that you know people are a little patient just because we are we are working tirelessly to try to build up the agency to to be able to accommodate this. Animal control says they currently have fewer than 30 workers and are in the process of hiring about 15 more. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.